R can handle a lot more than numbers. For example, it can handle character objects, which are also known as strings. We can make a simple character object just by putting some text in quotation marks. You might notice something we saw before, which is that the output is again preceded by a 1 in brackets. This character object is a vector, and we can create a longer vector using the concatenate function. As with numeric vectors, we can apply functions to a character vector to learn more about it or get summary information. In addition to the numeric and character type of vector, we can create a Boolean vector. In the simplest case, we can write TRUE in all caps, or we can write FALSE in all caps. We can also create a vector of TRUE and FALSE values using the concatenate function. One of the really handy features of Boolean vectors is that they can be used to extract specific elements of a vector that meet a certain criteria. For example, here I'll use the nchar function to find out the number of characters in each character string in the vector. Then we're going to create a new vector called under 10. This vector will indicate which elements of v have less than 10 characters. Finally, I can subset v using under 10. In the next video, we'll start doing arithmetic with vectors.